My regenerative braking, this is the first time I've seen this. I'm all dirty from the dirt race and very tired. So in the morning, I'm going to be taking my first long distance trip in what I would consider the winter time. It's supposed to get down to 31 degrees tonight here in South Carolina. I will be traveling up to North Carolina to go watch the World Finals Sprint Car um, Championship. And it's supposed to get down to, I want to say the low 30s, upper 20s down to freezing as well tomorrow night. The races typically don't get over with until between 11 and 1 o'clock in the morning. And then there's a 30-minute drive after that back to my car. Because I won't be taking my car actually to the race. I'll be at my dad's. And um, so from there, I will have roughly a 227... No, no, no. 127-mile trip back home. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go... My plan is, and we'll see... And I'll document whether this works or not. My plan is to charge to 100% tonight. I'm actually going to charge to 95% tonight. In the morning, I'm going to wake up, charge it up to 100, that last 5%, which takes longer to charge to, uh, when it's closer time to leave, so my battery's not sitting at 100 for a long period of time. I'm going to drive all the way up, and there's a supercharger north of Charlotte, um, roughly... 27 miles from his house. The reason I'm going to do this is because I'm going to probably have less efficiency, which means 127 miles is really going to use about 180 to 200 miles of range, leaving me roughly 100 miles of range, and even less than that with the same efficiency. And so I'm going to go ahead and charge at the supercharger up to 100%, drive the 27 miles so my car is not sitting at 100%, that will leave me, we'll just call it 80% battery life. So that when I get back to my car, it's going to be below freezing, which means my efficiency, again, will be really bad. I will more than likely, to be on the safe side, drive back to the supercharger, fill it up again to full charge, which shouldn't take that long because I'll be, we'll just call it, I'll have to throw in 35% battery. And it should go fairly quick, except for they, it does slow down when you go up past 90% or 80%. But I'm, I'm going to probably do that. That gets me home. That gets me home really late. And all of this is my estimates based on what I've heard about efficiencies in the wintertime when it's below freezing. Okay, it's the morning, it's 9.08 a.m. It is 39 degrees in Columbia, South Carolina right now. And I have 305 miles of range. I fully charged. That is the most it would let me charge to with it being so cold, I suppose. 305 miles, it's full battery. Not quite 310, but uh, we will be traveling to the supercharger, which is 96 miles away, and I'll do an update once we get there. Um, and then we'll probably top off to, I don't know, we probably won't go to 100% because it does slow down really, really slow. It went, it went from 30 miles per hour, or no, from it went from 32 amps down to um, 12 amps of um, current once I got to around 300 miles of range. So that last five miles of range was almost an, an hour. So it slows down significantly. Update here. Um, my regenerative braking, this is the first time I've seen this. The dotted lines on the left say that the regen braking is uh, not available. That's because it's got to get warmed up when it's really cold out. So you see that solid line to the left of the black line that is the little bit of regen braking that I have. And you can feel it. It does not slow down much at all. So that will come back as I drive. 
but just a little note um it's pretty neat and it's uh 39 degrees fahrenheit right now only so as you can see uh we went 107 miles we did 316 kilowatts per mile at 334 kilowatts um we ended up with 100 and around 67 miles of range when we got here um we're now at the supercharger it's plugged in it's got roughly 25 minutes to get an 80 percent charge so um i'm gonna go use the bathroom this supercharger is really nice there's several other superchargers as you can see i've already spent 25 cents so it's a little it's a little more expensive right now charging at 87 kilowatts um, there goes the popping sound that I always get out the left front when I supercharge. Every time, it never fails. But I'm going to go run to the bathroom. We'll finish this up. So I stopped at the McAllister's. Got a cookie and a lemonade because the... Stopped there and got the lemonade and coffee, um, cookie because the Cold Stone was closed. It's cold as anything, but I was really wanting some Cold Stone. So, some of the Model 3s have already left. And there's mine. Look at the bugs on the front. Still a lot. And we're supercharging. We are um, about to leave. It says we got five minutes left. I'm at 265 miles of charge. We've got a 27 mile trip to get there. So that will leave us with, we'll just say, um, 240 miles. Um, left for when i get back to my car after the race tonight and it will be freezing and because of that i probably will try to make it all the way home without stopping but we'll see i missed my mileage uh going over a thousand miles my first thousand miles on my car i missed it by nine miles <laughs> oh well that's all right so i'm one one third of the way before my first maintenance right um, got back, I uh, left um, the house around. Okay, so real quick, I want to explain something. Um, when I got to my dad's, I actually, um, my aunt was there and her boyfriend, and we decided actually to drive to go get food, which was 14 miles each way. Okay. So that's 28 extra miles uh, that was taken off of the battery that weren't accounted for. And then we also showed off the acceleration. So even more than that, uh, I don't know exactly what the mileage was when I left the house. But it was telling me that I would have 15% battery left when I got home which is why I ended up going to the supercharger because 15% didn't feel like enough of a buffer um, just in case. Okay, back to the video. 10.45, 10.30, and it said that I was going to have 14% charge when I got home. So again, with it being cold, I didn't want to take a risk, so I did swing by the same supercharger is where I just left with about 202 miles of range. It says that I'll be getting home with about 23% charge. I added 10% ch charge or roughly 30 miles to my range in roughly five minutes sitting there. Cost me a dollar. Um, so hopefully um, I have no issues but I am curious as to how much this 37 degree weather, it's only 37, it's not actually below freezing. So it's probably gonna be just fine. 
but we will document what it ends up being. I arrived home, 50 mile, nine miles left to go. It's now 1.16 a.m. at 36 degrees Fahrenheit. It did get down to 32. Um, it's showing that sentry mode is uh, currently unavailable for insufficient charge. Because I'm below 20%. I'm at 19% roughly. It did go down a certain percentage. I pretty much went home. Um, I pretty much um, drove home the entire way going 75 miles per hour roughly and um, I did not really go much faster than that and things like that so um, yeah so it wasn't that far off the weather didn't make that big of a difference like I thought my original amount of 15% um, what I think what I would have gotten here with was about 10% battery if I would have left with that so yeah I'm all dirty from the dirt race and very tired I'm going to bed so I hope that this was informational and I look forward to going back and reviewing it myself so that I have a better understanding of how I can drive at a certain temperature long distances so thanks for watching